Hello, today we'll do a very important video on divisibility rules. In most of the tests, we have to, <coughs> when a number comes uh, in arithmetics, we have to decide whether this number is divisible by a certain number or not. Let's do some divisibility rules. Number one, if you come across a number, is that number divisible by two? So the rule is, the last num digit is even. It means, is it 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8? If this is the last digit, then the number is divisible by 2. Let's do an example. So 1, 2, 5, 6. If this is divisible by 2, let's see. What's the last digit? It's 6. It's even. It means the number is divisible by 2. See, if we divide it by 2, there is no remainder. It divides. Let's test another number. 1, 3, 5, 1, 0. What's the last digit here? 0, even. So this is also divisible by 2. And we can see there is no remainder. Let's test another one. What's the last digit here? 3, not even. It means this number is not divisible by 2. Let's see. See, there is a remainder. So this is not perfectly divisible by 2. Let's do the trick for 3. Is any number divisible by 3? The rule is the sum of the digits are divisible by 3. So what we do? We add the digits and see what do we get. So for example, if this is a number, what's the sum of the digits? 4 plus 4 plus 8 plus 2 plus 3, you get 21. Is 21 divisible by 3? Yes, it is. So, it means the number is also divisible by 3. Let's see. Yes, there's no remainder. So, this is divisible by 3. Another number. 3, 6, 9, 2. Let's add the digits and see. 20. 20 is not divisible by 3. It means this number is not divisible by 3. Let's see. See, there's a remainder left. It means it's not completely divisible by 3. Is a number divisible by 4? What's the rule for that? The last two digits. The last two digits of the number given should be either 0, 0 or divisible by 4. Let's see. What's the la what are the two la large digits? 92. 92 is divisible by 4. Completely divisible. It means the whole number is also divisible by 4. See, there is no remainder. Let's do another example. 4, 8, 2, 3. What's the last two digits? 23. 23 is divisible by 4. No. Is it, it isn't because it's in a decimal. It's not an integer. So, this is not divisible. The number 4, 8, 2, 3 is not divisible by 4 because we are left with the remainder. Now, is a number divisible by 5? It's very easy. The last digit should be either 0 or 5. For example, this one. What's the last digit? 5? Yes. So the number is divisible by 5. That's it. It is. And we can check. See, when we divide it, there's no remainder. Let's test another number. 5554. Five, What's the last digit? 4? Is it 0 or 5? No. It means it's not divisible. And see. This is a remainder that's left. Now, is a number divisible by 6? A number is divisible by 6 only if it is divisible by both 2 and 3. If a number is divisible by both 2 and 3, then it is divisible by 6. For example, 5554. Five, five, Test for 2 is checking the last digit. Yes, it's even. So, this number is divisible by 2. Test for 3. Let's add all of these. 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 4. 19. Is it divisible by 3? No. It means this number is not divisible by 6. Another number. 7212. What's the last digit? 2. Divisible by 2? Yes. Sum 7 plus 2 plus 1 plus 2 is 12. Is it divisible by 2? 3? Yes. So it's divisible by both 2 and 3. So it's divisible by 6. Now, is the number divisible by 8? The rule is the last three digits should be either 000 
or divisible by 8. Let's check with an example. 7212. What are the last three digits? 212. So we'll test with 212. Is it they are divisible? Yes, they are not divisible. So if they are not divisible, the number is also not divisible. Let's test another number. 11,000. What are the last three digits? 000. zero, zero. It means the number is divisible by 8 because this is a rule. The last three digits, are, if they are all zeros, then the number is divisible by 8. And see, we divided and we confirmed. Yes, it is divisible. Now the rule for 9 is similar to the rule for 3. The sum of the digits. If the sum of the digits is divisible by 9, then the number is also divisible by 9. So here's a number. 1, 2, 5, 4. If we, if we add them, 1 plus 2 plus 5 plus 4, we get 12. Is 12 divisible by 9? No. It means this number, 1, 2, 5, 4, is also not divisible. And if we test it, see, we are left with a remainder of 3 which shows this is not divisible by 9 let's do another number 2 2 2 3 first step sum of the digits 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3 gives you 9 of course 9 is divisible by 9 it means this number is also divisible by 9 and see if we divide it we get this to 47 no remainder so it is divisible is the number divisible by 10? That's very easy. The last digit has to be 0. If the last digit is 0, like in this one, so the number is divisible. That's it. So easy. And we tested it. Now an interesting rule. Is the number, whatever number is given to you, divisible by 11? Now here, we have to read it carefully. The difference between the sums of alternate digits is 0 or is a multiple of 11 let's see what does it mean so here is a long number a five digit number 28431 sum of alternate digits 2 plus 4 plus 1 gives you 7 sum of the other alternate digits that is 8 plus 3 give you 11 so what's the difference 4 it's not 0 it's not a multiple of 11 either it means this number is not divisible by 11 and if we test it we can see we are left with 7 let's test another number 2585 five. again alternate digits 28 give you 10 55 five, again give you 10 the difference is 0 here if the difference is 0 it must be divisible by 11 yes it is divisible by 11 and if we divide it see we can divide it now is the number divisible by 12 a number is divisible by 12 if it is divisible by both 3 and 4 see 2580 let's test it for 3 first for 3 the rule is to sum add the numbers 2 plus 5 plus 8 plus 0 gives you 15 which is divisible by 3 so this number is divisible by 3 for 4, we have to test the last two digits. That is, in this case, is 8A, eight, which is also divisible by 4. It means this number 2580 is divisible by 12. And we can see it is divisible. There is no remainder left. If we test another number, like 2536, rule for 3 is adding them. If we add them, it is giving us 16. So it is not divisible by 3, although the last two digits, 36, is divisible by 4. But because it should be divisible by both 3 and 4, it means this is not divisible by 12. And if we test, we can see there is a remainder, 4. Okay, that's it for today. You can subscribe and you will find many more interesting videos or you can log on to this website and find out what we offer. Thank you.